So I see the typical person who just retired, or, or as we, as I discussed earlier, aspired to pre-retire pre at the age of 60 or a little bit before. In the moment, they, uh, and, and these are like people like us who are struggling to, to, to squeeze in time, you know, and do five hours here, six hours a week here, or 10 at max. Um, but then they have the whole time in the world and they can sleep in, they don't have, or they're not overworked, uh, you know, and they can exercise. It's unbelievable and super inspiring how much they improve in their 60s. I've seen people mm. in their 70s with the metabolic parameters of, of, of people active, morally active, uh, in their 30s. Wow. I saw uh, the, the world champion in the cycling who's 81, in the category of 80 to 85, believe me, there's a category of, of that, uh, whose metabolic parameters were those of someone in their 30s, healthy, active. So this is incredibly inspiring. Then I think that we are rewriting what's been taught to us in the books. Now, in fairness, was, was that person of an elite athlete? Were they a professional athlete in their 20s and 30s? Never. And this is what struck me. He was oh, wow. uh, a smoker, hypertensive. Mm. And he started uh, cycling because he needed to change his lifestyle in his 40s. Because that's the same question, like, whoa, you must have been doing this all your life. I'm like, no, I started riding my bike when I was in my 40s. I was a smoker, I was heavy, I was hypertensive, like, what? So it's incredible that 40 years later, he's in a better health than when he was. But but I'll tell you what I what I take away from that as well is the benefits and the more the importance of compounding. You see, mm -hmm. you alluded to it earlier, and I think the listener could be forgiven if they missed this point. You can make relatively quick changes in your glycolytic efficiency. You, you can take an untrained person with a VO2 max of 20 mils per mig um, per minute, um, or mig, uh, uh, mil per kig per minute, and you could take them from 20 to 30 in a period of months. Yeah. with the right amount of training, a 50% improvement in a few months. Exactly. It's very difficult to see a 50% improvement in mitochondrial function in a few months. Exactly. And, and, and you, you've already made this point, but I just want to restate it because it's important to set expectations. And it speaks to why this level of training should be thought of in the same way that you think of accumulating wealth, mm -hmm. which is you got to, yep. it's, it's day in and day out, day in and day out, j small compounded gains over years and years and years is why a 40 year old overweight smoker can become a world champion at 80. It's because he probably never once again got out of shape in that 40 years. Absolutely. 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 And this is incredibly inspiring. You know, uh, when I see these people in their 60s just retired and they come to do their first test and one year later they come back it, i mean it gives me the goosebumps because it is like oh my gosh like how can you improve so much and, and they're they're like and they're like look i'm i'm 64 and I, I i feel strong as as when i was in my 30s you know and like oh and so this is why we're, we're we're gonna be you know like and of course no medications you know um really good state of mind, uh, which is absolutely key for longevity, right? Um, normal diet, they can, they're not strict with one day, they're not, they, 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 they eat in moderation, but they can have a little bit of everything, right? Uh, uh, which is also in my modest opinion, is part of the enjoyment of life, um, um, eating what you like in moderation as well. Um, so it's incredibly inspiring to see all these examples and in and, 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 and a way where we're rewriting what we've been, been taught for years, that once you turn 40, everything is going down. You can really, really change. And again, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're, you own your own body and you can really, you know, take ownership of that and improve it at any age. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. 
The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies. 